the key tip here, keep your collection quick. So forward, I create energy. I say, hey, don't come down on my hand. Relax through the neck. We're soft here. Come on, dude. We are soft. I won't pull on you. You don't pull on me. And when I collect him from behind, keep it quick. Don't let it slow down. Don't let it slow down. Come on, don't let it slow down. And how do I tell him what, that with my body? It's mostly my outside spur right now. If you use your inside spur, you always risk a flying change in canter. So outside spur, come, come. I'm gonna show you that again when I turn the horse here to the right. So you can see my left spur now. He's slowing down too much. Come, 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 come. I push him out in front of my seat and I say, Altis, we're come, come. So, and now when I have the canter really in front of my leg, sitting in front of my leg, jumping, I can turn it as much as I want to and nothing goes wrong. Well, <laughs> that's the key, isn't it? Now let me show you some, something else here about the collection and the canter pirouette. One, one way to get those hind legs stepping toward the hand if you're having a problem with it. Now this horse, generally speaking, does a better pee off if he's well connected to the hand. This does not mean that I'm pulling on him. It means that I take a little bit shorter rein and I say, hey, come on, step out to the contact. Oh, dog distraction. So I've shortened my rein to a natural, normal frame here. Now I'm going to, whoop. I'm going to tell the hind legs, just with my spur, I'm going to tell the hind legs, start pee off. And I want to start that pee off behind the saddle and have it stepping toward my hand. So I'm still going to keep it a little bit forward. Good boy. I'm going to repeat this now. Several times in a row until I get a little better, a little quicker response from my spur. I'm going to walk again and again. Good boy. Now we're playing with the transition. I've already told you he, this horse pee offs better when he stays in a connected frame when I don't let him stretch too much. Not every horse is like that. Good, so now I'm, now I'm feeling better about the transition. He's on board with me now. He knows, okay, now it's pee off training. Here we go. And when I start feeling better about the transition, then I start making a transition within the pee off. Go a little forward, come. Go a little forward, come on. No, stay on the spot. Go a little forward again, come, come, come. No, stay on the spot. 